Hello everybody, my name is Tamilola Mike Pamiloye and I'm here to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can receive notifications and updates on new movies that will be dropping from time to time. So if you've subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing and if you're not, please subscribe. Hold on for a moment. Dear viewers, to enjoy this movie with the captions or subtitles, kindly click on the CC icon above the video to activate it. God bless you. <laughs> Wonderful. This is great. Eh? Look, Deolu, your mother must hear about this. Eh? Uh, one minute, please. Um, Mama Deolu? Mama Deolu? Where is this woman? Mama Deolu? Ah, look, uh, Deolu. Uh, look, I'm sure she's busy somewhere around the house. I I'll just be patient. I'll get her now. Eh? I'll get her. <coughs> um, um, Deolu, I'll call you back. Eh? Later. Ah. Ade? Ade? <coughs> Ade, what is it? Why are you screaming? Mama ah, Jesus! Deolu. Mama Deolu, what happened to her? I ah, tell me what happened. I don't know. Mama Deolu! Ah, Jesus, ah, I've been bothering me. I've been bothering. Hey, where's your mother? She's not around. Water, water from the fridge, fast! Okay. Heart. God have mercy. Mama Deolu! God have mercy. God have mercy. Thank you. Please, please, wake up, my dear. I've been bothering. Wake up. Mama Deolu, wake up. Praise God. Mama Deolu, what happened now? What happened? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, please rise up. Come to the bed. <laughs> okay, don't worry. I I'll carry you. <laughs> I will. I will. The doctor, my phone, my phone. Sorry. Hurry up, my phone. <laughs> There's no cause for alarm. She's stable now, all right? Please, uh, see me in the office. Uh, like I said earlier, she's stable now. She'll be fine. Thank God. Has she complained of anything recently? Has there been any strange feeling popping up? Um, no, none that I know of. Uh, maybe I should ask. Uh, Hilda, sister. No, That's my worry. first wife. Don't worry, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Okay. Hmm. When did she have her last baby? Baby? That's over 20 years ago. Wow. And he is her only child. Interesting. Anyway, congratulations, your wife is pregnant. Pregnant? Yes. And um, the crisis is because of her age and the uh, length of time of waiting. But she's stable now, like I said. She will be fine. And she will just need to rest. You know, it's already four months without even knowing. Jesus Christ. She's going to need to rest. You mean Mama Deolu is four months pregnant? I kid you not, sir. Ha! She is pregnant. Ha! Am I dreaming? You are not dreaming. Ah! <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. I'm so grateful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ha! Praise God. Adeolu, 
I was so surprised when the doctor broke the news to us. Ah, our God is indeed faithful. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hey, four months? This is a miracle, Dad. I, I am really, really happy for Mom. So I will soon have a sister, or let me say a baby. Look, God is amazing. His way is deep. You know, your mommy had a dream when she was about releasing you for my brother. God demanded for you, but it was difficult for her because you are the only one she has. Dad, God's way is perfect. Thank God for mom's life. Thank God she obeyed. Because if she had refused, I wouldn't have been here by now. Congratulations, Dad. Congratulations. I'm so happy. Thank you so much, my dear. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Um, you won't be able to speak with your mother now. Uh, the doctor emphasized that she needs to rest. So she's resting presently and I, I wouldn't want to wake her up. Yeah, 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 no problem, sir. Allow her to rest. Please extend my greetings to her. I will. Um, so, how are you now? Have you settled down? Uh, we saw you last when you arrived from London. Yes, so, in fact, they really tried for us. They have given me my apartment like we promised. And guess what that? My place is really beautiful. It's so big and spacious. And I have decided that I will be careful not to, not to open my door for just anybody. Um, you see, Deolu, uh, I know that you are not getting younger. And you are no longer a small boy. But you see, uh, you, you have to be patient. Eh? You have to be patient before you bring anybody into your house. You have to pray and ask for God's leading. Eh -eh. <laughs> you know you are no longer a small boy now. But you can be sure that I will be praying for you. And you won't make a mistake in Jesus' name. Daddy, I understand. I'm grateful, sir. Please keep praying for me. Mm? I understand, sir. At the right time. Mm? Uh, yes, I am, I'm not pushing you. I'm not pushing you. But I want to be a grandfather. Eh? At the right time. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> My regards to mommy. I'll call you later. Okay. Thank you. Daddy. <laughs> Oh. I mean, you came less than 10 minutes and you want to leave. Why? What is wrong with you? Since your last visit, you did not deem it fit to call us or check on us. Ah! You don't care? You are not like this. What is wrong with you? What has come over you? I have explained to Daddy on phone that I'm busy this time. In fact, I've caught off from all those time waste friends. I was hard. So I'm very busy. Ah, Ekabo. Ah, Arunke. Ekabo. Ekwele. Ekwele. Ejuku. Ekabo. Ah, ya Arunke. Mba woni. Alafi. Mba. Olon ti shalayi nko funi. Fun, 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 fun tani. To. Bekini. Mbo, kilo wi. Mama, mama, dano ho. Mama, dano ho je. She has been saying rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. Arant nonsense. Look here, Roke, and listen to me. You better speak out. So that we can know how to help you. Mm. Eh? You see, I told you. That woman has already taken over. <laughs> and if care is not taken, your son we serve our own son. <laughs> Baba, please don't say that again. You cannot help me. <laughs> Baba, you can't help me. I'm no more in that cage. My eyes are opened. I have found a better person who is ready to help me. And he has been helping me and even deliver me from shame. Jesus really helped me, Baba. He had mercy on me. Don't care. What are you saying? Mm. Or have you really joined these people? <laughs> what you are saying is not clear at all. See how you are talking to your father. It seems you have been hypnotized by your husband's wife. <laughs> ah, that woman has taken over completely. <laughs> Baba, I don't care. I don't want to say Hey, our husband's wife has cast spell on her. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Mama, Baba, nothing of such happened. 
Have you forgotten, Mama, that you said I needed to be wise? You advised me to join them and be going to their church. Remember? Yes! So you can get what you want and be in charge easily. <laughs> Since you have joined them now, we have not yet received feedback on the charge you are giving to get them separated. Why? But we're not she said that, Papa. The wisdom works well, mm. Mama. Thank you for the advice you give to me to join them. In fact, I fully join them now. And also, the charm Baba, Baba's friend gave me, the herbalist, that one also worked perfectly. Eh? Yes, yes, Baba. Ah, oh my God, Ah, okay. That's good. Eh, uh, okay. You should not relax now that everything is working well. Mm -hmm. You still need to get back to Baba Lion hmm? to give him the report and the outcome of the charm. In fact, he will be waiting for you now. That is why we have been expecting you mm -hmm. to come or call us. But you refuse to go back to Baba Lion to give him the report and to appreciate him for what he did for you. Ah, that is too bad, Runke. It's too bad. Ah, Baba, Jesus must not see me there again for life. And you go to the best journey. Ha, look at him. What? But take me, but tell him, take me, take call. Mufeki Jesus, who parish at Tunchi and Nayimino, can say to you see anybody. Will you stop that nonsense? What kind of nonsense is it? Will you stop it? Ah, see, Ronke, I did not call you here to hear this from you. Something is wrong with you. In fact, you can go back to your house and choose to release your children to slavery. Nonsense. When you are okay with your senses, you can call us. Okay, sir. Ah, but Jesus has done a lot in my life and the life of my son. I wish, I wish I could share it with you. I know, let's see, shame. Oh, my shame. Ronke, oh, my Your husband's wife has finally charmed you. But we can still help you if you are ready. Okay, Baba, I'll be going. What are you? Ah. Yeah, Ronke, what is wrong with your daughter? She has never behaved like this to us. Her attitude really baffled me so much. Ha! Huh. That woman has captured my daughter. Baba Ronke, what are we going to do now? Hmm. I think I have to call her and talk sense into her. Eh? Arifila? Iranu? Amy? Call who? She must obey whatever I ask her to do. See, that woman may be controlling her husband, but she cannot control my daughter at all. She has captured her with her child. I know what to do, but we are going to deliver her from her hand. <laughs> my dear, mm -hmm. I was just trying to play it safe. Mm -hmm. But did you get it? <laughs> I just thank God anyway. I <laughs> ah, 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 yeah. very interesting. It was ah, ah, easy. Ah, ah. It's, it's so oh, amusing. I, I, <laughs> but my dear, my dear, okay. I think uh, we should not keep them in that suspense for too long. Mm. Oh, uh, I think you should let them know what happened. You should show them the gospel. Oh. You are right. I also love to do that, mm. but oh, I don't think they are ready. I have the feeling within me to be patient. My parents are not easy. They are not easy mm. there. I believe only the power of God can break them. Mm. Only the power mm. of God. 
How do you mean, my dear? How do you mean? Patience for the gospel? Patience to preach the gospel? No, I disagree with you. The Bible tells me that we should preach the gospel of Christ in season and out of season. That's what the Bible says. Well, yes, you are right. But you see, I also saw it in my Bible. When Paul Apostle was going to minister to some people, that the Holy Spirit stopped him. He didn't allow him. Perhaps people are not ready for harvest. Listen, listen, what are you saying? What do you understand by harvest? My Bible tells me that the harvest is great. It's so big, but the laborers are few. That means the time of harvest is now, this very moment. Eh? Look, dear, I, I think uh, to preach Jesus Christ to them there would have been the best thing. Instead of leaving them in a state of confusion. They don't understand what is going on now. They are confused. Anyway, I just felt I should be patient there. It was as if God still wants to show them something. Hmm. Though I didn't fully understand, but God wants to show them something. Look, listen to me, mommy. Today, I'm telling you the right thing. Eh? You are still new in this faith. Eh? You are still a baby. You are still a new convert. You should be ready to learn new things. Mm. Hmm? You see, eh, th th there is time for everything under the heart. Eh? The time to preach to them is now. Oh. Preach to them when there is still time. For tomorrow may be too late. Eh? Uh -uh. Man of God. <laughs> Listen now. Mama told them may be right. It's the Holy Spirit that will guide them. And just like the same way he guided Paul, the Holy Spirit is still available to guide them. After all, it's the Holy Spirit that will convert them. Mm. So, Mama Tunde, we are right to Jerry. It is the Holy Spirit that will convert them. And that same Holy Spirit will help you to know the right time Amen. to minister to them. Amen. And we also will be praying along with, with you. Okay, oh. Thank you. So I have heard. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you, too. Ah, okay. Man of God. <laughs> Evangelist. I still feel the time is now. Mm, there's I time for everything. Thank oh. you. Thank you. Thank oh, everyone. Yeah. I thank everybody. <laughs> thank you. Yes, brother Ishala, please come inside. Good afternoon, sir. Ah, uh, how are you, sir? You're welcome. Thank you so much, sir. So good to see you. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Please take a seat. Thank you, sir. Ah, <laughs> uh, and um, lest I forget, I hope you're hearing from Deolu. And congratulations once again for the great miracle that God did. And may the will of God be perfect in his life in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Mm. Thank you so much, sir. You are most welcome. To what do I owe this visit, Brother Ishola? Mm. Um, kindly pardon me for requesting for this impromptu meeting. But there is a great burden in my heart that needs to be lifted, sir. Um, an incident happened some moment ago, which has raised many questions in my heart. Mm. I need some clarification, sir. I need to be enlightened. That is why I'm here. Okay. I'm all ears. <laughs> I'm all ears, Mr. Ishola. Hmm. I went to see one of my converts who has been maltreating his wife. Um, I once told you about him. You should be able, you should remember him, sir. Yes, I do. I remember. And he promised to change. Ah, change? He has not changed. In fact, he is getting worse every day. He beats his wife anyhow now. He maltreats her. So much so that the woman ran away from her matrimonial home and went to her family home. Mm? She called me from there. Sir, it is terrible. Hmm. Very pathetic. So what's the current situation now? Um, I'm here so that you can shed light on some things, sir. Um, I'm, I'm confused. You mean about the man and his wife? But it's you that brought them to Christ, not me. So, you should know them. 
No, 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 sir. It's not about them, sir. It's about me, my, my, my very self. Ha! Huh? You? Yes, sir. How exactly do you mean? Uh, sir, I came to the conclusion that I have to see you urgently because of what transpired between me and the man some moment ago. Um, Mr. Roland, what I'm trying to say is that I, I don't like what is happening. It is obvious that you have been trying to avoid me. I mean, since your wife moved out of your house and moved into our family house, I've been doing everything possible to get you. I even went to your workplace, but you were nowhere to be found. It's obvious that you have been avoiding me. Eh? Why? Why are you working against the light you once had? I want you to know that God loves you dearly. He loves you. And there's nothing you can get in this world that you cannot get in Christ. God loves you. He wants you to love your wife so dearly. Eh? Roland. Okay, sir. I've heard you. Thank you. Uh, Roland, you are not looking happy. Eh? Look, don't allow any situation or circumstances to hinder your work with God. The Bible says, what will separate you from the love of Christ? <laughs> Nothing except why. No. How do you mean? Sir, I understand you perfectly now. And that's what I'm planning to do, to let nothing or anybody come between I and the love of Christ. Especially a stubborn and arrogant wife. Ah. So, so what, do you, what do you intend to do now? I will apply wisdom. Ah. I will use wisdom to break her pride. I'm going to put her aside. And I will let her know that I am still the man in my own house. And, and you want to do that by walking against Christ? Eh, Roland? Because that's what you are doing. It doesn't work that way. But it worked for you, sir. You are doing fine with your two wives. Ah. They love you, they respect you, they honor you, and they love one another. That is the only way you can break the pride of this arrogant woman. Roland. There are many out there who don't have husband. Jesus. But, but you know my story. Eh? I never intended to go this way. Marrying two wives is the greatest mistake I ever made. And I regret that action up till this very moment. Look, I don't want you to make that same mistake because it's, it, it will lead to disaster. Eh? Don't go that way at all. Eh? I, I'm existing today because God showed me mercy. It's the mercy of God that has kept me up till this very moment. Eh? Please, you see this matter, let's just hand it over to God. Allow God to take control of your marriage and let him restore everything back to the way it was. Eh, Roland, please. Sir, I am done with her. Ah. I am simply not going to let anyone come between her and the love of Christ. Ah. And I am very, very sure that the Lord who showed you mercy will also show me mercy too. Ah. Jesus. Okay, um, let's pray together. I think you should pray for yourself first. Thank you. Ah, sir, I am confused. I don't know what to do. You have not said anything about my family since I joined your church. I mean, since I got converted through teacher and he brought me to your church. Uh, myself and my family, we have been worshipping here. And you, you, you have not said anything. Mm. But I feel limited. I, I know God loves me. And he has forgiven me all my sins. But somehow, I still feel incomplete. I, I feel inadequate. I feel like a bird that, that is caged. That wants to fly, but cannot fly. So, I'm confused, sir. Mm. I can understand. Just like David who wanted to build a great temple for God but could not because God said he has shed too much blood. Look at Father Abraham. 
he had no choice but to send away the bondwoman and her son because it was not the plan of God. People like King David and his sons, King Solomon, paid the price. There is always a price to pay for crossing from the perfect will of God to his permissive will. You see, that God will allow some things to happen does not mean they are in his perfect will. Hmm. That person just has to learn to live with the consequences. That's exactly what you experienced from the hand of that young man, Roland. You felt the limitation. And there is no way to convince that man except by God's own divine intervention. But sir, I believe I am created to do great exploits. Exactly. Yes. And you will indeed do great things in Christ Jesus. Amen. But there, you cannot rule out the limitation, the existing limitation. See, David could not build the temple, even though he fought many battles. He desired it, but he just could not. God cannot, under any condition, violate his word. The Bible says he created them male and female. Let's look at the Bible. In Genesis chapter 2, verses 24 and 25. Therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife and we're not ashamed. Hmm. So, Brother Ishola, anything against this is not the perfect but the permissive will of God. And that's why Father Abraham paid dearly for it. And even the old world, right up until today, are still in the problem created by the bondwoman and her son. Oh, Jesus Christ. But, sir, what do you suggest I do? Because I'm not happy, sir. Hmm. Preshola, there's no doubt that God loves you. And I'm sure you know he has always been good to you. Look, though David could not build the temple, remember Solomon, his son, built it. Your children are already fulfilling your heart desires and may they always go places and fulfill God's purpose in Jesus name. Amen. But sir, what about me? My, my, my dreams, hmm. my visions, the, the passion I have for God's work. There are several things that the Lord has shown to me that is boiling within me that needs to manifest. I want to fulfill God's purpose for my life. I, I want to die empty. What, what can I do? Hmm. And I declare, so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. All your heart desires will all be fulfilled. Amen. But that may not be through you, <sighs> but through your seed. <sighs> Brother Ishola, that's just the truth. And you must learn to accept the truth with all humility and gratitude to God. God is interested in your life. He is. He is interested not only in you, but even in your home. And that's why his anointing has not only reached you, but has passed on to your children. Hmm. You may be limited due to your past, but I declare God's faithfulness is evident in your life. And even in your home, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Your seed will stand among the nations. They will declare the mind of God and many will come to the knowledge of God and through the great and see the great work that they will accomplish for God. 
Amen. There shall be salvation Amen. and deliverance. Amen. And the Lord will raise them high as they desire his mind. Amen. May you be honored and may God keep you alive to see more beautiful <laughs> days upon your seed as you remain faithful to him in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. You just keep serving God. And most importantly, keep interceding for your seed because God who had seen your heart has given them to you and he will perfect his word over their lives. Amen. They will step into their land and possess the land you were unable to possess. Amen. They will do mighty exploits Amen. in their generation. Amen. And the Lord will keep you to see some of these Oh my God. What a pity. So, there is more to it. I thought, since I've given my life to you, you have overlooked everything. Oh, God. But I still appreciate you, Lord. I thank you because you have been so good to me. You have forgiven me and you made me your son in spite of all my terrible past. Ah, but God, I wish I could do more for you, Lord. Oh, God, I wish I could be more useful in your vineyard, but I'm limited. I'm lifted because of my past. Oh God. But God, I thank you. I thank you. Oh God. Oh God. I am yet to believe what Anako said about you. Tunde, is it true? You asked him to bring you to us. You even agreed for the initiation. But it just disappeared. And then you said you are no longer interested. I am curious. What actually went wrong? Don't you want to be rich and influential again? What about your dream? Hmm? I mean, I've been a liar and I will talk. I don't Baba. You lied against this guy? Ah, Baba, you feel foolish. Baba, who did lie? The guy thought he ain't not interested again. He don't, he don't touch church boy. That's why I see him carry Bible like the Shannari. They follow him by the entire one kind of church like that. He don't touch church boy, Baba. <laughs> uh, so, you are now a church boy. You won't waste your time. Hmm? Tunde? But you know, say, we don't force you. We force her. Arako, Oli, we force her. We don't force her. We don't force you. I want to say your visa said done already. Yes. In fact, some people are already reporting because we are moving to Germany next month. Confirm. So, we want to know exactly where you stand. Don't you want to be rich again? Want to live as your younger brother's slave, just like you told us. Attire. 
Sleep up! See, you do not have any time to waste. We just want to know where you stand. Are you still interested? Or you are now a church boy? Boss, I'll not be church boy. I'll not be church boy. I told you. See, I told them. I said you are too good looking to become a church boy. What will you be doing there? Oh, no, 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 no. What would such a good looking boy, boy like this be doing in church? See, life too good and sweet than to become a church boy. I told them. But guy, what's it going to happen now? Where you going to be? We're going to look for you. See, you need to prepare all your papers. Oh. Or else, aeroplane will carry you fly. Oh. See, boss. Uh, yeah, talk, uh, talk, 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 talk. It bless you, you not understand what I talk before. Uh, yeah. Wait me that. Yeah. I don't be church boy. Uh -huh. But I don't I be Jesus speaking now. I don't be God boy. Maybe. Boss, God don't change my dream. I don't give my life to Christ. God, Jesus saved me. He healed me. Can't still show me the way of life. Boss, I not do it again. I not want Jack back. What about the money you pay for the passports? Habi. Oh, bro, leave that one. No worry about that one. See, Jesus save. Jesus don't save me. He go bless me. I sure say he go bless me. Ah, it is what the mad is. Ah! I know what to do to people like you. That's. I do not want to touch you. Chunde, boss. That's your final decision. <clears throat> yes, boss. Yes. Get out. Now your papa say I save you. Jesus, thank you for delivering me from those boys. Hmm. Ah! Teacher, I really wish I could talk to him right now. He has not been picking his calls. Nobody could even reach him again. Maybe, maybe he has changed his number or he has traveled out of the country. Teacher, I really wish to see you and ask you some questions. Ah. Can I still have access to him again? I really desire to see him. Sundi, what is going on? Mommy. Talking to your son, hello? Yes, ma'am. I'm only thinking about teacher. His phone line has not been going through. I really wish to see him and ask him some questions. Maybe he's out of the country. Yes, it is possible. You know, he is an international figure. Though we didn't know, everybody misses teacher, really. I miss him. But he has told you before he left that he has finished his assignment here. Mm. Teacher did very well. Teacher brought us all to the foot of the cross. I will forever be grateful to God for what he used him to do in my life and family. He was instrumental to your deliverance. <laughs> so boy, cheer up. And I can be of help. You know I'm one of teacher's disciples. You can ask me the question. But mommy, you have really changed you. <laughs> I'm really challenged by your prayer life. <sighs> but mommy, 
I'm afraid. I'm still afraid for my life. Do, do you think I will not fall back one day? It has not been easy. You. All the girls and my friends didn't let me be. I'm afraid I may go back to them one day. I'm tired. This is why I seriously need to see teacher. Sunday, I want to ask you a question. Okay. Who saved and delivered you? Jesus, of course. He's my savior and my deliverer. Are you sure it's not teacher? No, it's not. Mom, remember teacher said that Jesus only used him and he can as well use any of his children for us. And he told us to keep looking onto Jesus. Yes. Because he will never leave us. Mm. And I've always been looking at him since. Really? Mom, how? Through his word. Jesus is the word of God. Since pastor ministered on this in the church, a day will not pass without reading my Bible. And it has been awesome and helpful. Hmm. Mom, e explain, explain how to know more. You see today, you can't separate a man from his word except it is written down. The same with Jesus. The Bible is his word, so you will experience his presence when you read and study it. It will drive away your fear. You will be bold to face life, to resist the enemy with the word of Jesus. <laughs> that is why I know you cannot fall, my dear. <laughs> Mommy, how, how did you know all this? My faith is strengthened by what you just said. And I'm encouraged. Yes, I will not fall. If Deulu could make it by following Jesus and his word, mm. I too will follow Jesus Amen. and trust in his word. Amen. Uh, that is the spirit. I will not fail. I will not fail. That is the uh, spirit. I will, I will be strong. Amen. I will not fall. Amen. Uh, I will fall. I'm happy. That is the spirit. Yes. Come on, let yes. us pray. Let yes. us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. we trust your word. Yes. We believe your word. He will keep your son. Amen. He will not fall. Amen. According to the word, you will keep him. Amen. Come in. Ah, teacher. Teacher, 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 teacher is me. It's me. Yes. Wow. So why did, you, how, why did you leave without informing us? Oh, but I told you I've finished my mission here. Uh, so we tried to reach you on phone, but it, it, was not, it couldn't go through. Yes. Why? Yes. I'm through with my mission here. Uh, wait, Tunde, you look afraid. Huh. What is it? Sir, so, so please sit down. Oh, thank you. Hmm. Sir, I'm afraid for my life. Teacher, I don't want to go back to my old ways. I've done terrible things and I know the Lord has forgiven me. But I'm afraid of going back to my old ways. The temptations are much. The, girl, the girls keep coming back despite all my efforts to drive them away. Teacher, what do I do? I don't want to go back. Tunde, the word, the word, everything you need is in it. With the word, you will overcome. Now, for instance, Psalm 119, verse uh, 9 to verse 11. Yeah, listen to this. Yes, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word? With my whole heart have I sought thee. O oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Verse 11 now, thy word have I hid in mine heart that I might not sin against thee. Mm -hmm. The word, huh, Tunde? Yes, sir. Take this. You need not be afraid, eh? Yes, sir. You see, with the Bible, the word, you're already an overcomer. 
So my dear boy, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Ha. Mommy was right. Mommy was right. Psalm one Psalm one one nine. Yes. Psalm one one nine verse verse nine. Okay. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereunto according to thy word. With my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. Oh, Lord, help me. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> well, not lacking ambition or confidence. Who is this? Hello? Who is speaking, please? Hello, Mr. Ishola. Uh, this is teacher speaking. Oh, Tio. Uh, wait. Teacher Iwo. Is it the same uh, Mr. Lassun Kami, the loose teacher? Oh, sure, it's me. Ha! Ah. <laughs> How is everyone? Oh, thank God. We are doing great. Uh, we really missed you. You did a very great drama for us in my family. We are here to get over it. God bless you real good in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm glad to hear about everybody, especially my good friend Tunde. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Tunde is doing great. He just finished his GCE exam. Ah, I thank you so much, teacher. For your assistance. The, the Lord has really transformed my family. Oh, I'm very happy to hear this good news. You see, I missed you people too. Really, I do. I, I really missed you. Uh, but now I'm back in Nigeria. Hey. Ah. I called to congratulate you about Mama Deolu. Deolu shared the good news with me when we met in Abuja. Uh, that was after we returned from the get-together in the United Kingdom. We asked uh, after you from Deolu. He said you are not back in the country yet. So you are back now. Ah, Ekabo. Mama Deolu is expecting a baby. It's a miracle. Our God is indeed good. Uh, sir, we covet your prayers for a smooth and safe delivery. Hmm. Uh, you see, uh, the God of Abraham is still on the throne. Uh, you see, Sarah had Isaac by his mighty hands. And he is still at work. The midwives of Evan are always on duty to handle deliveries like this. And he will send the same angels and the midwives to attend to Mama Deolu. God will perfect everything. Amen. Jesus name. Amen. Ah, thank you so much, sir. Um, today, too, we seriously looking forward to seeing you. Uh, there were times that I was afraid for him, but he's now stable spiritually. Thank God. Oh, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. The Lord will uphold him. You see, I'm now back in Nigeria, as I said earlier. So I'll leave my phone number and my address with you so you can give it to him. And uh, he can come over to see me anytime he wishes. Ah, thank you so much, sir. Uh, please extend my greetings to every member of your family. Uh, it's well with you all. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, sir. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Ha! Teacher! <laughs> this is a pleasant surprise. My dear, please sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> I have good news for you. Sit down, gently, gently. Uh -huh. Good. Guess who called? Who called? Teacher! Eh? Yes. Same teacher? Yes, he just called me now. Huh? That's unbelievable. Ah. He, he said he's back in the country. He said he's in Lagos now. Back in this country? Uh, yes, that's wow. what he told me. He now said uh, Deolu told him that you're already expecting a baby. <sighs> that boy. <laughs> Look, it is good news, oh. It is what Shiani. I'm so excited. In fact, I, I feel like telling the whole world. <laughs> uh, he sends his greetings to you. Mm. Then he left his phone number. And we are going to call him very soon, especially when this baby comes. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's actually good news. Did you tell him to pray for me? Of course I did. Oh, and darling. <laughs> he prayed. He said the heavenly midwives mm. will attend to you Amen. on the day of delivery. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Then he also prayed that the God of Abraham and Sarah mm. that handled Isaac's delivery mm. is still on the throne. Hallelujah. And Amen. it will be there for us in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. Oh, darling. <laughs> Good boy. When is the baby coming? When is he arriving? Eh? Very, very soon. Ah. Mm? Go and relax. <laughs> ah. 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 Ronkeo! 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 Loni, what are you doing with your face? You're going to be here. 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 Good morning, dear. Good morning. Oh, morning, last year, my mat, my balaroy. Oh, see, pedi, it's in my room. Ah, kilo de. Hope there's no problem because it's too early now. Nothing. I just feel like sitting there. I need to sit there. Well, that's okay. Um, it's better you go early so that you can return early. Eh, eh, but wait. Uh, we have to have the family devotion first. <sighs> Just give me a minute, please. We'll be expecting you. Okay, please. yes. I'll be there soon. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh. Okay. Why? What have we done? Everything we are doing is for your good. Eh? We did not even hear anything about your junior wife again. Abby, are you angry with us? Ah, hello, Mama. If you look you go to buy a bin. Or a new fair, I love Johnny. She will like what I love. I will see everything today. And I pray God will help us. I actually came to speak to you and Baba. Mommy, a lot has happened to me and my family. And God has been so good, so merciful to us. But uh, where is Baba? Oh, your father is at home. He knows you are around. Mm, he will join us soon. But one is only at our brood. Papa, today. I am caught him with so no Mama, God is doing wonders in our lives. This Jesus is real. And he can do all things when we trust him. He has touched our lives and saved us. Mommy, my God delivered Tunde. Yes, it's a long story. But I want Baba to be here. And I will see everything. Baba, I don't care. What are you doing now? We are waiting for you. You will come out soon. Anyway, what would you like to eat? Eh, Ronke? Un taba wi fo gbo logo ngbo. Un taba wi fo gba logo ngba. Tin ba ti so fun oni ko gbo. Ha ha. Baba, I'm sorry I have not come or called you on phone. I'm very sorry. 
How are you now? Hope you are fine. <sighs> Ronke? Sir? Take this. And make sure you find a way of putting it in the room. Under Mama Diolu's bed. Tonight, when you get home. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Stand up, stand up. Go, 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 go back to your house. I'm here to greet you. I'm not ready to go now. As a queen, cut to you, Pada Bai Baba. Ha. Things have changed in my family. I'm new now, Baba. I don't need those things again. That is why I'm here to see you both and to fully explain everything to you. Okay, 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 Ronke. You have to take this one from my hand now. Rarao. Ah, Baba. I'm not ready for that. I'm here for something important. Ronke. Don't let me repeat myself. I said take this from my hand and use it the way I ask you to do. Uh, Kilo de Baba Ronke. She says she's not here for that now. And she's not ready to go home now. Besides, she's here to share good news about her son with us. Uh, uh, forget about that. And let us hear what she has to say. Huh. Eh, hey, Mama Ronke, I've heard you. I've heard you. But Ronke must receive this thing from me. Eh? Ronke, collect it from Baba and let us talk. Don't worry. No, Mama. I must not do that again. I have been collecting this before, but not anymore. I must not do that. <sighs> Ronke, I am not begging you. You must collect this thing from my hand or you go back to the house. That's okay, Mama. Ah, I had to go back home. Look, have to collect it from the devil. Rara, Rara. I'll see you later. Don't go. Come back. Don't go. Let's settle it. Ah! Baba, what is wrong with you? You drove your daughter from the house. So, 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 don't you know you're acting strangely? The girl is afraid of you. Durango. What is wrong Durango. with you? You know I'm doing this because of her. <laughs> Baba Lion said that he must not remain in my hand. What did you do? What did you do? This thing must not remain in my hands. It must leave my hand to the place where it's going to be used. Ah, Obeo, Obeo, let me call Baba Lion. What did you do? I, 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 I'm beginning to, to, to feel strange in my body. Ah! Oh, you did not tell me about this. Let me come, Baba ah, You always carry me along. Why this time? Mama, the old time is already working on you. Ah, ah, that woman, that Mama, the old is a witch. Let me come, Baba Let me come, Baba Laya. Baba Laya! Baba Laya! Hello, hello, Papa Nanya. Hey, please stop. Hey, stop. It's your friend. It's your friend, yo. Hey, it's your friend. You saw the flash check. He's unable to control himself. Hey, how are you? Come on. Ah, don't, why are you running away from me? Eh? Why? Why? I know I'm fulfilling the day. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Eh? Forgive me. I slap you, eh? Sorry, sorry. Eh? So, I'm small man, dad. I'm fine. Oh? So, did, did you see today? Yes, but I don't understand him. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't cry. Don't cry there. Come on, tell me what is going on. What is going on? He was serious and committed to me all along. Until recently, when he changed from the Tunde I used to know. But what exactly did he say to you now? <laughs> he said he's no longer interested in the relationship. And he said quotes of Bible verses to me. Ma, it is disgusting and ridiculous. Mm -hmm. If not that I love him, I should have left long ago. 
But I enjoy all his unfaithfulness because I believe it will change and stop other habits. Oh, oh. Uh, you see, today has changed now. Ah. He has changed. <laughs> he has even given his life to Jesus. That was what he said. <coughs> and I am also ready to do so. <laughs> Come on. Why we continue our friendship? What he said is not ready. Can you imagine that, ma? <laughs> My dear. <laughs> you see. <laughs> Why can't you preserve this water for a thirsty man? The water is very precious. But whoever is not thirsty will waste it. He will not see it as a privilege to have been given such water. And you see, you know what? He can even misuse the water. So please preserve it for a thirsty man. But Ma, I don't understand. What are you saying? I don't have any water. What water are you talking about? <laughs> I know you may not understand. I really love to answer your question, my dear. Okay, ma. But as you can see, I'm just coming. So ma. let's sit for a while if you don't mind. Tunde! Hmm? Right, Tunde! Mommy! Welcome, mommy. Okay, dear. Mm. Huh? Lawrence, I, I thought I thought you were. Uh, yes, you we have been talking, and they want to conclude our discussion. So we need two chairs, please. Go inside and bring me chairs, brother. Today, okay. Okay. your name is Loretta. That's a beautiful name. You are welcome to my house. Thank you, Ma. Now to your question. Listen, my dear. Every female child has access to this special water given to her by God to quench a man's heart. But the woman must be careful and patient not to give it to someone who has no need of it or who is not thirsty at all because he will waste it. And you see, the water will keep flowing if it is given to the right person, but may see flowing with the wrong person. The water is meant to be appreciated because it has life. But why are you saying all this to me? Because you are about to give your heart to somebody who has no need of your water, and that will be a costly mistake. Today does not need the water now, that is what he was trying to tell you. He is being sincere. He will make a mess of it if he collects the water from you. Because he is not thirsty. He is not thirsty. <sighs> Loretta. Yes, ma. Wait for the thirsty man who we appreciate and joyfully drink that precious water you carry because you will quench his thirst with it. Ma, you have changed. Are you the same Tunde's mom or her twin? Yes, I'm Tunde's mother. I was the one that slapped you the other time. When you embrace Jesus okay. and accept him as your Lord, you will know who you are and what you carry. I mean, what Jesus as deposited inside of you. You see, Jesus changed my life. Hmm. You opened my eyes to all this truth. When you know Jesus and walk faithfully with him, he will teach you how to keep the water and recognize hmm. who it is made for at the appropriate time. So that same Jesus changed your son? Yes, my dear. Sunday now speak differently and with assurance. Can Jesus change my life too? It seems I have interest. <laughs> Though I'm a Christian, I go to church. Yeah. I'm a member of the choir. <laughs> but many of us are freely giving out our water to those men who have no need of it. Oh. Sunday is not the first person I'll mess up with. I've done so many horrible things out there. 
that my parents must not hear of. Can God change my life and give me <clears throat> another chance? Yes, my dear. You see, you are not the only one. Many girls out there have ignorantly <sighs> released their water to men who have no need of it like Gina did in the Bible. The holy daughter of Jacob. She messed up when she walked with the wrong people and she was defiled. Doretta dear. Yes, ma. You have all messed up one way or the other. No one is good, but Jesus is merciful. He is a merciful God. He will forgive and change you to a brand new person. And you will become his virgin. You see, the water of life Jesus will give you will quicken every virtue inside of you. He will preserve you and it will reveal to you the right man that will drink from your water. Mom, can you please pray for me? I need Jesus. I need him in my life. Come on. I'm so happy for you, my dear. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Loretta. Yes, ma. Say this prayer after me. Okay. My Lord Jesus. My Lord Jesus. Have mercy on me. Ma. Have mercy on I me. I know I've sinned against you. I know I've sinned against you. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I've defiled my body, which is your temple. I've defiled my body, which is your temple. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. I place my body on your altar. I place my body on your altar. Please cleanse me with your blood. Please cleanse me with your blood. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. Amen. God bless you, my dear. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Ma. I'm so grateful for the time you spent, Ma. I'm thank so, you. I'm happy. I'm yes, happy ma. for you. Yes, and ma. I thank God for what He did today. Yes, Ma. He will perfect your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. I'm so happy, Ma. <laughs> I am free and liberated by your word. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. I now see how precious I am to God and to whoever I will marry in life. Amen. I must undo. This water that we just talked about, I must handle this water very well. Amen. And by the grace of God, I'll keep this water for the right man Amen. that will appreciate it. Hallelujah. Thank you, ma. <laughs> I'm so grateful. Thank hey, you, ma. Loretta. Yes, ma. Let me share a scripture with you. All right, that ma. That is um, Matthew chapter 7, verse 6. Ma. Yes, 7, verse 6. It says, Give not that which is holy. Unto the dogs, neither cast your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. <sighs> that is what can happen when a lady releases her water to someone who is not thirsty. That water is the holy thing, it is the pearls which must not be cast before swine. Dina cast her home before swine because she failed to remain under the secret place of the Almighty. When a lady stands right in God, she will discover the right person for her, the right person for her life, the way God ordered Rebecca's step to the well. Rebecca? Yes, Rebecca in the Bible. She hmm. came to the well and the servant of Abraham. Ask her for water. The servant of Abraham represented Isaac because the actual person that was thirsty and desperately needed the wife was Isaac. He needed comfort and companion after his mother's death. Mm. The servant prayed right because he asked God for someone who will quench his thirst and God ordered Rebecca step to the well alone to fetch water because our time has come. Wow. There is a man out there 
waiting for oh, you yes, to receive comfort from the water you will give to him. So, stay in the house like Rebecca. Don't leave God's presence. Don't stray outside like Dina so as to escape the enemy of your soul. Stay always in the Lord's presence like Rebecca. Yes, and you know what? Your Isaac will locate you. Amen. Yes, I'm happy. Thank you, Ma. I'm so grateful. <laughs> Thank God. Yes, Ma. You are Thank blessed, you. my dear. Amen. Finish your drinks. Come on. Finish. Thank you, Ma. God bless you. Sunday. Mm. Mommy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Ah, brother. <laughs> Today that mm. is good of you, you know. Yeah. Thank you, Ma. I thank God for your goodness. But Tell me, what exactly did you tell Rita? <laughs> Mommy, you don't have to tell me what you were discussing with Loretta that took you hours. Ah, two day hours. Ah, ah. So you don't know? Before I ask about Grandma and Grandpa, I want to know exactly what your discussion with Loretta was. She texted me to thank me. And she even said that you are God sent to her. What did you tell her? Okay, you first. What did you tell her? Um, okay. I only shared the word of God with her. I shared the word of God I came across in the book of Song of Songs, chapter 8, verse 4. You see? Songs of Solomon. Yeah, Songs of Solomon. Songs of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 4. And it says, I charge you, O daughters of Jerusalem, that ye stir not up, nor awaken my love until he please. Wow. Well, you saw that in the Bible? Uh, yes, ma. Can you, can you explain? See, mommy, I saw from that scripture that any intimate friendship with the opposite sex, apart from one's wife, can result in fake love or lust. I remember the terrible incident that happened with the first lady I messed up with. She nearly lost her life when she discovered she was pregnant and tried to abort it. Huh? And to think that it all started as a casual friendship and before I knew it, we started practicing nonsense. We thought we were having fun, but it eventually led to her getting pregnant. You see, mommy, that in that scenario, it is just like awakening love when it is not pleased. This is amazing, my dear. Ah, and the second scripture was in Proverbs chapter 24, verse 27. And it says, prepare thy work without and make it fit for thyself in the field. And then afterwards, Build thy house. <laughs> hey, See, God. Mom, mommy, that's, that's the level that I am right now. <laughs> right now, my dream is to prepare my work without so that I can make it fit for myself in the field. For instance, mommy, they only knew this secret because he loved the Lord early. His faithfulness to God enabled him to think straight and to do the right thing. And God gave him wisdom to prepare for his future. Unlike me, who lived and listened to the lies of the devil. I, I wasted my time. <sighs> Deo Luis is pretty settled in his work and is established in his field already. As a matter of fact, if not for age, Deo Luis is already qualified to have his own home. And I pray that God will give him a good wife who will help him to build his home when he's ready to settle down. Amen. But for me, I'm not ready for that, mommy. <laughs> Thank God, my dear. Thank God for this understanding. Hmm. These are the truths I shared with Loretta and she was not happy with me initially. But I guess she's changed now, judging by what she wrote in her text. God must have touched her by what you said to her. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. I'm happy too. You mommy. see, 
the Lord helped me to share his word with her. Really? And she embraced it. And um, she eventually gave her life to Jesus. What? Loretta, you mean Loretta, Loretta gave her life to Christ? Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. You see, I think she saw the light from the word you spoke to her hmm. and from what I said. She saw the reason why she should thank you. I believe the Lord will establish her in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh. Amen. Amen. Thank you, mommy. I love you, mommy. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Really? Ah, it's really shocking though. There's nothing God cannot do. Huh. Wow. <laughs> wow. Ah, God is good. Okay, so how, how, how is grandma and grandpa? Oh, oh, they are fine. They are in God's hand. But they need their prayers. Okay. So, where is that the mama? They, oh, they went out too. Oh. They, they've gone out for a while. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so finish what you're doing. Oh, okay, ma. Okay. So, Jesus. This is serious. Baby, <laughs> ah, baby, baby. <laughs> but, ah. Baba, what happened? Mama, what is the What is the thing? 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 What is Please, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Eh, hey, but eh, hey, 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 Baba, what kilo she legan? It's a boy. Where you get to be a Jewish ago? And I thought that a husband's wife has got spell on her. Or are you for you? Or are you for you? But I know you, you say I'm so me. Until you so funny, we be. Oh, until you feel funny, say, Kato say, I would not know see that dow. I would not know see that dow. Told him to soft me the pomore. I bow on you. I know for you, le. See, I said that her husband's wife, mm. you, Mama Diolo, is planning evil by turning my own daughter wrong, okay? Against me. Put it there, you wakora. One in dake, kimosoro. I can't keep quiet. Even you, gun, cannot even accept that insult. Only you, Soluto. Only you, so. And you know, Liba. Ama, so you are not Ah, hey, Odewo, I be no gongo no. Pata pata la for you kunu kunu la dete. Oju a four four ton. Ija ni dale. This one is very very dangerous because once your hand touches it, it has to be used very fast. I jebe, Uri ala re no fiko. Uri ala re no fiko. Kuje jebe. Like you, I you le, you le Whoa, I am not a child. My own daughter must listen to me, and he must collect this thing from my hand. Baby, you, take care of you. Umuntu mose, ki tani nuba usu, kamari fe komo lara. Oku oni bando. Mwa ko ni a mwa bulu mkati a mwa yajo kwa tu ndo. Ndo fi kwe uri le wale. Akika. Once you get to, you must not tell a word. Abo obo. 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 Tu ba ti kwe a mwa yajo yi. Unfun la are. Ni o wa pa o ni le. Kon 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 budo kon wodo. A se mwana mwana mbele nwa ka. Ni o buboro si o le nwa. Abogo, 
owo to mo fi fun owo si lo fi gba o se o bi mo se so o ah ore ni lo hun je silo ah o se un mo dupe ah wo ba layan gan loruko re je ah i'm so grateful thank you don ke o Ronke o Ronke o Ah hmm Ah Jesus Ah Ah at your journey la ti wa lenu re I have to call you when a situation is becoming worse Please help us and forgive us Help us, say, Mama, do you to please forgive us? Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Ah. God is great. Jesus, you are great. Mom, hmm. I've not even told you half of what happened to us as a result of all those charms you gave us to harm Mama Dolu. Even how you and Baba gave me that charm through his herbalist to drive Mama Dolu out of the house. But instead, I was the one driven out of the house by my son. Hmm. Mama, we are alive today and restored by the Lord Jesus Christ because he forgive and he save us. Yes, Baba. You see, only Jesus can heal you and forgive you of all the evil things you did against his daughter. Eh? You see, Mama Deolu does not have any power on her own. She relies on the power of God because Mama Deolu and every member of my family, including your daughter, have given their lives to Christ. That is why Mama Tunde did not collect the charm you gave her that day. Ah! Olorun yi ma tobi o. E sha nu baba. Em, mama. Baba. Are you ready to forgo all your evil works and cross over to the Lord Jesus Christ? Because he is the only one that can deliver, save and heal you. Baba. Mama. What my husband is saying is that you have sinned against God for attempting to hurt his daughter. So you have to ask God to forgive you by accepting Jesus into your life as your savior. Yes. Um, are you ready to do this? Mm -hmm. You see, because we need to pray together. Yeah. We need to pray together. Uh, the sins you have committed, you did not commit sin only against uh, Mama Deolu. You also sinned against God. Everybody is a sinner. But Jesus came to save every one of us. He came to take away our sinful nature and give us his own nature. Jesus Christ died and resurrected on the third day so that we can live for him. Now, um, Mama, Baba, are you ready to receive this love and salvation from God? Abi, Baba, if God could save Ronke and give her peace of mind, what is? Me, I'm ready. What about you, Baba? Me, I'm ready. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oluweshi. Ah, hallelujah. We are eh, eh, Baba, Mama. Emma, we tell me. Jesus, Oluwa. Jesus, Oluwa. Mama, we are sharing. Mama, we are sharing. Mama, we are sharing. Mama, we are sharing. Oluwa, we are sharing. Mama, 
Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Yes, I'm here to see teacher. I mean, Mr. Olasukomi. Your name, please? Tunde. Oh, Tunde? Yes. You are Tunde. welcome. Thank you. He's been expecting you. Oh, really? You can go in. Okay, okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, my dear friend, Tunde. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Thank now, you. how did you manage to locate this place? Um, uh, it was very easy, sir. Um, I made some findings and I just followed the address. Mm. How are you, sir? Well, I'm good. And you? Um, I'm okay. I'm doing fine, sir. Oh, very, very good. Fine, sir. Very good. Uh, how is your family? I mean, your dad, mom, and your siblings. I believe everybody is fine. Yes, sir. They are very, very fine, sir. Great. I, I just want to say thank you, sir, for everything that you've done for us. Sir. <laughs> Why are you thanking me? <laughs> sir, uh, for everything God did through you, sir. Your life is amazing. Actually, sir, you, you really surprised us. <laughs> <laughs> you see, everything is God's work. Mm. You see, it's just geared towards drawing people like you closer to Him. Oh. And uh, it's God working through us. And uh, I must confess, when God does His things, He does His things perfectly. Yes, uh -huh. You know, you are now part of God's army. Yes, huh? yes sir. Very good, very yes, good. Sir. Now, how is your Christian life? Mm. We thank God. God is helping me, sir. Mm. Mm. Very good. You see, your dad told me the last time we spoke on the phone that you like to see me so desperately. Mm. Yes, sir. Um, actually, sir, it was really, really tough back then. Um, I was so confused and I thought I was going to go back to my old ways. Um, there was a time you appeared to me in my dream and you said some words of encouragement through the scriptures and I've held on to those scriptures ever since then and the Holy Spirit has taken over, sir. And I'm in his hands right now. Thank you Hallelujah. so much, sir, for your constant prayer, sir. We thank God. We yes. thank God. Now, how about your papers? Um, they were good. Um, I got admission into the Polytechnic, sir. Great, great. I'm in my first year right now. Wow, great, great. Well, I'm glad to hear this. Uh, that means it was very good. Yes. For you to have gotten an admission. Yes. Oh, Tunde, I congratulate you. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm so glad to hear this. Thank you, sir. Wow, wow. Now, Tunde, what is your dream? I mean, as you pursue your academics now. Hmm. My dream. My dream. My dream is to discover my gift in God and to use it to draw many to the foot of the cross. Great. So help me God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Today look I'm so happy. <laughs> Great. God will make it happen eh? Oh my boy. My boy. <laughs> God will make it happen. Jesus Christ. Because I believe. Yes, I believe. Have you thought about faith when you are walking? I see the proof and the 